Hi friends, this is Smita, a personal empowerment life coach and an executive coach. And today I'm going to talk about six tips for creating positivity in your work environment. Your office space should be reserved for just work so that you can enter and immediately feel focus on the tasks on hand for the day. Whether it is your home office, a cabin or a cubicle that you work out of, Notice and observe how you feel when you enter the room. Do you get a warm, fuzzy feeling like you could stay there the all day for most of the days? Or do you want to enter, get what you need and then disappear quickly from that? If it is the later, then here are the five tips, rather the six tips, which will bring more positivity and warmth to your workspace. Number one. Clean up your messy desk. One quick and easy way to clean your desk is to take everything off, put all papers into a pile and clean the top. Now, only put back the essential items you need. Your next step must be either to ask your assistant or schedule time in your calendar to sort through all the papers. You don't want to throw away important contracts, notes or bills. So be careful. But at the same time, you can't work out of this clutter day in and day out. Now that you have organized your papers, you need systems for dealing with the clutter so it doesn't overwhelm you again. Try an accordion folder for bills or sign up for paperless bills and move everything online. Identify your biggest sources of clutter and find a solution. Your workstation should not be an additional storage space, neither for you nor for anyone else. Number two, add one thing that brings joy. Add that thing to your desk. It can be a family photo, a diffuser with your favorite essential oils, or even a small vase of fresh flowers. Create a clean environment where you will be happy to work. Number three, frame your favorite inspirational quote on your cubicle wall or use that quote as a wallpaper on your computer screen. Read it the first thing every day before starting your day and then once again before calling it a day. Allow yourself to be inspired by your inspiration every day. Number four, frame your vision, vision board prominently in the office so that you can spend a few minutes each day remembering why you are doing what you do. Spend some time connecting with your higher purpose at work. Number five, give your office a complete makeover. Paint the wall with a new color or add new curtains for an inexpensive pick-me-up. If you don't have the luxury of a home office, upload your favorite Spotify or any other aggregator that you use. Upload your aggregator's playlist with music that will inspire you to keep moving forward. Number six, last but not the least, Remember that you are in control of the noise you let into your life. If your social media feeds are filled with nastiness, consider unfollowing certain people or hiding offensive posts. Maybe your news feed isn't the best place to get your news headlines first thing in the morning. Choose to acknowledge joyful things in your life and make space for them at your workstation you will find that your heart and mind are calmer and ready to work. That was all for today, friends. If you like the content here, please drop a comment and circulate this video with your group. I'll see you the next time. Until then, bye-bye.